see my screen. Technical hiccup. All right, so uh, here's a, here's an update on the week ahead uh, for the weather here for the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. Again, the quick summary, uh, snow possible tonight through tomorrow morning, primarily across the far eastern Texas panhandle. Uh, potential for flurries on Friday night. And the next time period we'll be looking at is Tuesday night into Wednesday. Uh, for now, it does not appear we'll get any precipitation with that, but it is a time period to keep an eye on. So again, the quick overview, uh, what, sort of the, the weather risks uh, focus on tonight mainly with uh, some light snow potentially lingering into Friday morning. Looking at uh, winter precipitation types for tonight, um, on the right, uh, no, uh, we're not looking at any risk for ice accumulations or freezing rain. This is mainly gonna be a rain and then a snow event. In terms of impacts, your, your elevated impacts, again, gonna be confined to the far eastern portions of the Texas Panhandle. So our forecast amounts, um, those have shifted uh, eastward a little bit here with our with our latest uh, observational model data. Uh, again, uh, generally less than an inch across, uh, you know, Hereford, Amarillo, Pampa, up to Perryton, but those areas in the Far East uh, could get anywhere from around one to three inches. Um, if they really make out like bandits out there, they could get up to around five. Uh, but if we do get um, quite a bit, there's quite a bit of dry air down near the ground. If that wins out, um, we may not see any accumulations at all. Again, the most likely scenario around one to three for the far eastern Texas panhandle. Looking through the next seven days, uh, if we took any, any rainfall we, re we received or melted down all of that snow, uh, the amount of liquid we'll be getting anywhere from a hundredth of an inch to maybe around a quarter of an inch. Again, focus on the eastern part of the area. Taking a look a little bit beyond the seven days um, from the Climate Prediction Center, um, they are tilting the odds for a little bit above normal precipitation and around normal temperatures. One thing to keep in mind with those precipitation, those precipitation odds is that normal precipitation this time of year is very low. So it would just take a, just take a, usually just takes a little bit of a storm system for us to get to that above normal category. Sort of the, uh, the look for the whole season, um, we've got the latest drought monitor. Um, again, not where we want it to be. However, considering it is La Nina, anytime we can get through another week without any drought degradation is, um, you know, is okay news. Alrighty, that is it for the briefing. Um, and I will now take uh, any questions you may have.